Greetings, my name is Zach, and I am going to walk you through how I record my artwork for making videos like this, my sketchbook sessions, the podcasts, all that stuff that's on my channel. My setup is not particularly complicated, and there are probably better ways to do it, but I'm going to walk you through how I do it, and probably as I do so, I'll talk about some of the past ways and other ways that I do things. Today, I'm just gonna walk you through how I get footage and get it onto my computer. If you are interested in what I do with it after that point, how I edit, how I go about producing the videos themselves, let me know in the comments down below and let's check it out. After all the connections are hooked up, which is really just the HDMI cable running from my camera to my computer, I turn on OBS on my computer. OBS is short for Open Broadcast Software. I won't go over it here as there are lovely videos breaking down how it functions. But in short, it allows for many different inputs to be utilized and registered as audio or video resources. It is what I use for basically everything that I don't do with my iPhone. And nowadays, the phone accounts for almost nothing. The only thing in addition to the HDMI cable itself is a capture device. Not a very expensive thing, but this helps to convert the signal so that OBS understands it correctly. All the hookups complete, I turn on my camera. It is a Canon EOS M50 Mark II, and I use it exclusively for recording my artwork right now. I use the standard lens, though I own another that I may at some point use for recording headshot videos. The camera itself is attached to an arm that I suspend from a shelf above my little drawing desk. Each time I record, I make sure the camera is focused, and then I disable the autofocus so that it is not changing or accidentally unfocusing during the session. Different projects require different zooms, obviously, and that also gets hammered out right at the beginning of the session. I have two lights on the side of my station, which I can use to modify the amount of light, making sure the exposure is optimal for my recordings. When I don't pay enough attention here, I run into unfortunate situations where the lighter lines are not visible. I have western exposure in this room, which means that the light comes through very differently throughout the day. My functional recording times are prior to about 3 in the afternoon and after sundown. Granted, after sundown, my exposure and lighting situation has to change dramatically. This is the microphone I use. Though it isn't necessarily a part of the recording process for my art, it is a Shure MV7. All in all, that's pretty much how I record at present. In the past, I used my iPhone with a simple little arm like this. It was inexpensive, and if you look at the first dozen videos on this channel, they are all recorded in this fashion. Well, I hope this was helpful for you. Don't let technology stop you from recording your artwork, from making videos, or just cataloging your work. It's fun, albeit maybe a little bit nerve-wracking at first, but it's a good skill to have and allows you to share your work more readily. As always, thank you for your time. Have a good one, y'all. See you soon.